Hi, I'm Kate Stevanovich from Mount Alexander College, and I'm going to talk you through how to use Compass. The focus for this video is looking at how you can use Compass as a parent to log and check attendance for your child, to give consent and payment for different events they might be involved in, as well as how to find learning tasks and reports. Firstly, how you get to Compass, you can get there in two different ways. You can access our school website and you will see there is a Compass button at the top. You simply click that and it will take you to the Compass homepage. Another way you can access Compass is by simply typing in the Mount Alexander Compass website page and it will bring you up to the landing page. Both methods will bring you to this particular page on the right and you will need to put in your parent username as well as your password. You can also access Compass via the app. So you just need to download the app from your app store, which is the Compass School Management tool. Then when you open that, you'll be asked to submit the school name, type in Mount Alexander College, your parent username and password, and then it will add your account. If you already have the app, you can simply click the blue button down the bottom and it will take you to the username and password page. To access the Compass browser through the app, there are some functions that work better in browser mode. So you simply with your app, click the three lines on the home page. It will slide over and you'll have some options that you can use. Towards the bottom is the open in browser. Click on that and it will bring you to the Compass browser page. The only difference with this one is you will be able to see on the left top hand side where it says close. When you click close, it will go back into the app mode. Let's now talk through some of the functions that you can use for attendance. So if your child is absent, you can log their absence uh, before or on the day of their absence. In the browser, you simply click the plus button, which will bring you to this attendance note editor. The attendance note editor has a drop down box where you have some different reasons why your child might be absent and you simply click on the reason. You can give further details or add a comment, but it's not necessary. You'll also need to ensure that you add the start and finish date. And for a, an absence that may not be the whole day, you can click a period or you can personalize what times that might be. Then you simply click save. If it is an attendance um, that you need to log that's after the day, on your browser, you will see attendance notes required. You simply click on the blue link, which will bring you to this particular page. So with this page, you will see the classes that your child missed on that particular day or days. What you then need to do is you need to highlight all of the attendance um, that you would like to um, explain with the note. So you can simply click the individual classes or you can tick all at the top. Then you need to click explain with an attendance note, which will bring up this page and you'll have the drop down box where you have other options for logging what that attendance reason was. It's really important that you uh, check attendance and keep on track with attendance. So you can do this by accessing the student dashboard and you simply click on the attendance button which will bring up, <clears throat> excuse me, which will bring up this particular page. So with the app, you go to the three lines and as well open in browser. That will then give you a rundown of your child's attendance. So at Mount Alexander College, we want all students to be on 90% or above. And when you are looking at their attendance, you look at the VCE percentage, whether they are in entry or above entry, VCE or VCAL. You look at this particular percentage 
um, column to be able to see what their attendance was. To log attendance on the app, you simply go to the home page and add an attendance note. Then it will bump you onto the next page. You'll see up the top, there is the reason. So this is similar to the drop down box, but it will take you to another page and you click what that reason for the absence was. Once you've done that, it will bump you back to the middle page and you say that you include the dates and add that attendance note. You can also check the approvals that you've given for your child um, for different absences. For events, uh, you can provide consent and payment via the browser by um, having, you'll see there is a particular box um, that will have event consent or payment required. You simply click that and it will come up onto another page. With this page, it will tell you how much the event is, if there's any cost and whether it's awaiting um, payment and or consent. You click where it says awaiting payment or consent and it will take you to the next page where you will be able to provide consent for and or payment for that particular event. With the app, it will come up on the landing page that there might be events and or payments that you might need to um, give consent for. You simply click that button, it will come up with the different types of events or payments or consents that your child um, has outstanding. Again, you're going to click on that particular event and it will take you to the next page to show you what that event is and the cost. You simply click on the bottom button, proceed to consent and payment, and you'll be able to uh, type in your name to be able to give signed consent, and it, you'll be able to add your credit card details for payment. Let's have a look at how you can access learning tasks online. There's two different ways that you can access this through the browser. So the first one is by clicking on the pencil at the top. And then the second one is on the landing page, right down the bottom, you'll have what the learning tasks are. If you, if you go the first method with the pencil, you can see there that you just scroll down to the learning tasks. It will then take you to this next page where it will outline the different types of tasks that your child has been completing or will be completing throughout the semester. At MAC, we have two different types of classification. So we have a general, which is coded in green, and this is coursework. So this is generally um, tasks that are completed, set by the teacher in order for your child to demonstrate satisfactory knowledge and understanding for their coursework. So kind of like classwork. The next is assessment, which is coded in red. And these are VCE SACs, so school assessed coursework tasks. They are VCAL learning tasks or entry and above entry major assessment tasks. So these have been set by the teacher according to the VCE study design and performance descriptors or VCAL learning outcomes or the Victorian curriculum. When you go onto the landing page, it will be um, on the browser, all the tasks will appear um, immediately. To be able to navigate this more easily and neatly, you can click this uh, box which will nest all the learning tasks and you can focus on one particular subject, for example. When you look at the learning tasks, you can click on the blue link, which will then take you through to explain what that particular class task was. You'll also notice on the right hand side, it will have the due date and whether it was, was received on time or whether it was received late or has not been submitted. With learning tasks on the app, you simply go to the tasks tab at the top. And with the app, the, uh, all the subjects will be nested, so different to the browser. 
Then you simply click one uh, particular subject, which will then uh, show you all the different tasks that your child has been completing and submitting for each of that, um, the coursework and major assessment tasks for that subject. You can also click further to add, find out more details of what, about what that task is, particularly for any kind of um, major assessment tasks, it will outline what those tasks are. You can also click on feedback to find out what feedback your child has been given for that particular task. If it's a major assessment task or a VCE SAC task or VCAL task. To access your reports online, you simply click the view academic reports or you can go to the dashboard by clicking the top um, button there where you can see the uh, visual of a person. It will then take you to the dashboard and you simply click on reports. You can access the semesterly reports, which will be nested at the top. And then our progress reports will be towards the bottom. So with this one, um, these come out every six weeks. Um, and to be able to view this on the app, you'll need to go into browser mode to be able to view the progress reports. With the reports on the app, you simply click the reports button and it will take you to the uh, semesterly reports for your child. And then you can simply click on one and it will generate the PDF for you. Lastly, there's a couple of other tips that I can offer you for Compass. So if you click on the three lines, as I mentioned before, you have this um, page that will turn up. You can switch accounts to navigate through your different um, uh, schools or different children's uh, app pages. You can click on conferences and add conferences uh, bookings for student-led conferences. You can provide event consent through this way as well. Thank you very much. I hope that was useful for you.